Yours problem playboys, welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing some hood struts on Dusty. You guys know how the car comes stock with the original one that you have to insert into your hood. Well, this, you don't have to do that no more. You just pop open the hood and it feels like a brand new car, dog. So I'm gonna do a huge shout out to two side by side. <laughs> I don't know what this company name is, but shout out to you guys for sending this over. If you guys want to pick up a set, I'm gonna leave the link down below. So to make this install a little bit easier for me and easier for you guys, I'm gonna put you guys on the GoPro and you guys can see my hands, see exactly what I'm doing. Obviously I'm gonna talk and still demonstrate and tell you guys what I'm doing. But yeah, this makes it a little bit easier for you guys as well. All right guys, so I don't know about y'all, but the first thing I do when I work on my car or any car, as I put some gloves on and the gloves I'm looking for are not inside there so I got my special automotive gloves all right so I got a 10 mil on my little gun right here I'm just gonna place that right here for right now and and luckily this uh install comes with instructions usually a lot of stuff don't come in instructions anymore and you gotta just try to figure it out by just looking at it but luckily i was blessed so here's the instructions they always get the generation wrong it's from 2012 to 2015 us usm and then i believe everything else is probably this but uh yeah seems pretty easy wants me to remove the first bolt out of the hood so one two right there then insert uh, the bracket which is I believe these oh no no is these uh, oh no actually no these brackets with the washers in okay yeah it's pretty damn easy bro let's get to it let's remove that bolt first so I believe this bolt goes goes like like this hold on okay that's good make sure nothing's happening on this side all right but oh that was easy all right guys so you see got the brackets mounted up pretty simple pretty easy you guys see me how i did it just remove these two 10 mils uh, figure out how the boat or well, figure out how the bracket is supposed to be on there because I don't know why that was confusing me But it's pretty easy. You want the circle well the round side like this To be aiming up towards you same thing with that and then you want the square side to be aiming down towards your uh, towards your engine bay now step Two well, it doesn't say step two here, but what just this pretty much is step two is now inserting those uh pieces that they want you to put in which are these so I'm gonna drop everything I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple let me see what hole they used on the on this they used the back one okay so next step is getting these let me see what they go oh yeah next step is getting these right here inserting and locking down just like that Alright guys, luckily I have a spare that didn't come with the kit. I just have spare nuts everywhere. Hey yo. But uh let's uh spree do this and make sure it doesn't fall this time. Well that's in. And this one's in. So I'm gonna tie in those up. I believe it's a 13. Let me see. Yeah, that works. So it doesn't need to be super tight on, but it needs to be tight. And that's actually not a 13. I do have a lot of space with the 13 still on it. So I'm guessing it's a 12, but like I said, this works. All right, step three is to remove a bolt. Do I even have that? I don't have that. I'm guessing that's why they gave me 
A bolt. Okay, so I'll have to put the bracket on first. This is left. It's supposed to be like this. Oh, yeah. Yep. Let me make sure I do this right. It's supposed to be like that. And okay, awesome. So, first, this goes in. This goes on top. Like that, I'm guessing, since it can't spin the other way. Now, I'm not gonna tighten it. I'm just gonna get it right there so I can see how the diagram looks. And no, it's facing the wrong way. Okay, what the heck? guys so i think i got it now before this all right so on the bracket it tells you what side it goes to so i don't know if you guys can see that but it says left but i tried the left side because this is the left but maybe i don't know i guess it was just maybe it was wrong maybe they did it wrong but it wasn't fitting so this goes over here if i'm correct it's supposed to sit like that yeah so that makes sense so they just marked it wrong i believe we'll see when i put the struts on but that confused me i was like bro this this is making no sense but now it makes sense so right here i'm actually gonna put a cloth or something to block that little uh crevice because if this thing falls i'm not fighting it there is no way i'm going to be able to find it so let's uh make sure i don't lose it Five minutes later. Whoa. It fell. <laughs> All right. So after some flagging, flagging, what the heck? For dangling, I was able to get this in. Um, all I did was pop the AC line bracket out. Oh, well, pop out the AC line, out the AC line bracket. And I was able to get it in with, with a pretty decent uh room. I have very large hands, so like, it's kind of hard to get my hand down here, but if you have small hands, it should be cake. All right, guys, so I got one side in. Let me get the other side in real quick. So I did tighten it down as much as I could. It shouldn't move once everything is on there, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this pops right here. It just pops in <sighs> like that. All right, guys, so cool. They're in. And uh, I did have to go back and retie these a little bit. If you guys could see how I have them angled, because when I did have them pointing straight, um, this was like angled this way. And it looked like I was putting a lot of stress on this little joint right here on both of them. So I angled the bracket going this way. So I won't put as much stress on them. And then it looks fine. So yeah, these things are pretty sturdy. It looks good. And then like the test, like, whew, I think it's fire. You do have to put a, a good amount of force in it. Let's see if I can do it with one finger. And, uh, and, I mean, I can, but two fingers most definitely. Ooh, yeah, that's on there. All right, so yeah. If you guys have a carbon fiber hood, I definitely <laughs> don't recommend getting one of these. Um, if, if it was a little bit less stiff, then yeah. Cause I feel like with these, they probably crack the carbon fiber hood. And uh, there goes your $1,600 hood or $1,800 hood. But yeah, it, it looks good, bro. I like it. So I didn't really close the hood. I just placed it down. Let's pop it open. Oh. Gotcha, bitch. All right, let's retry that. So, pop open. And like I said before, let's pop open the hood. Damn. That's fire. <laughs> that is actually fire, bro. I wish I could take off this, but it's really in there. I don't know how Honda designed it, but like, 
It is in there, bro. But yeah, bro, here it is. All right, guys, so this is where I'm going to end off the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, shout out to the company. Tessa. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Shout out to you guys for sending over the hood struts. If you guys are interested in buying a set, I'm going to leave the link down below or down in the description. Um, yeah, man, so your boy's going to sign off. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got soda. Head to my merch site, www.zubigarage.com. And your boy's out, man. Peace. Yeah. Oh my mind.